coding is easy, coding is fun. And if you are not agree with this, then let me tell you one thing. These are not my words. These words are from Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft. I will share a few clips in this video to illustrate this point. Actually, you need to follow three steps to make sure coding is fun. And the first step is fundamental. Know the fundamental. Before I dive deeper into this, let me share one clip with you. Everywhere you look, computers are changing the world. Whether they're on our desktops, in our homes, our pockets, or just about anywhere else. But while most of us use this revolutionary technology daily, so whether you're just curious about the devices you use every day, or you want to design the innovations of the future, the first step is learning how computers work. Did you pay attention? If you want to learn about computers, you have to understand how a computer works. This is the basic fundamental. And if you are learning a programming language, you should know the basics, such as data types and syntax. Next, try to understand if a language has an interpreter or a compiler. For example, JavaScript has an interpreter, but c -sharp uses an compiler. And once you understand the basics, then you should learn the control flow, like for, if, and other loop statements. Watch this clip. People make decisions every day. Uh, for example, before you go outside, you kind of have an if statement that says, if it's raining, then I need to get my jacket. And computers are amazing once you decide those kinds of statements that they can reliably execute those things at unbelievable speed. And so a computer program really uh, is a little bit of math and some if statements uh, where the decision gets made. Once you have mastered the basic, you know the control flow, this is the time to start coding. And trust me, in the beginning you might feel it's hard, but you have to keep trying. Keep trying again and again. At this stage you have two choices. Either you can say, I'm quitting, or you can say, let me try one more time. Remember this, no one is born perfect, but practice makes a man perfect. So you have to keep practice and practice and practice. I'm going to play a part of clip which I found on core.org YouTube channel. The quality is not great, it's over 10 years old, but it's really valuable. In this audio, host is asking, do you have any advice for kids who are learning coding first time? And pay attention what Bill Gates is saying. So since we have five minutes left, you have any comments for the kids who are about, many of them are going to be learning programming for the very first time in that first hour of code? I need the... Uh... I go back to the point about persistence. Did you pay attention? He said, I will go back to the point of persistence. So once again, if you want to make sure coding is fun, follow these three steps. Understand the fundamentals. Learn advanced concepts like control structure and functions. And finally, persistence is the key. And let me tell you one thing. It's about mindset. It's all about mindset. I remember when I started my coding journey, it was from PHP. And then I moved to ASP projects. And later on, I started working on VB and VB.net. So there were so many hiccups. Why? Because I have no clear directions. I have no visibility. I have no clear goals. Because I learned a few things in a hard way. And if you want to make your journey more enjoyable, try to focus on habits. I strongly believe habits can make you or habits can break you. And you should take baby steps in your journey. Watch this video four small coding habits that will change your life forever. And if you want to make sure your coding is next level, try to see this video. Coding was hard until I learned these three things. And thank you for watching.